for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Toll confusion. Rental car companies and their customers are facing a costly dilemma over the toll on the Sakonic River Bridge. And the customers tell us they're willing to pay it, but not the additional fees they're charged by the rental companies. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the story. A local woman says she was shocked to receive a bill for almost $20 from her rental car company. When she read the details of the bill, she realized the bill was over that 10 cent toll for crossing the Sakonet River Bridge. Drivers nearing the Sakonet River Bridge are warned about an upcoming toll. So I'm like, drive, drive, drive in. Alex Reed, who is a college student in Rhode Island and new to the area, was ready to drop her 10 cents into a basket. But there wasn't any toll taker to take her dime. So I get there and there was like, I was like, oh, I guess like I didn't go the road, like they had the toll, so I just kept going. One month later, she got a bill in the mail from the rental car company. I got an invoice from Enterprise saying that they had paid a ticket, I had gotten a ticket, and I was like, I didn't like, I didn't get a ticket. Like, why would I get like, I didn't get a ticket. Turns out when Alex crossed the Sakonet River Bridge, the computer system took a snapshot of the rental car and billed Enterprise 10 cents. Enterprise turned around and billed Alex $17 in administrative fees, plus the 10 cents. I don't have 20 extra dollars just to be like spending on a 10 cent toll. Outraged over the hefty added fees, Alex called 12 for action. We contacted the Rhode Island Turnpike and Bridge Authority. They agreed the fees are excessive, but they have no control over what rental car companies upcharge its customers. The agency says this is a problem and has voiced its concern to various rental car companies, but so far they have yet to change their policies. On Enterprise's website, it says if it receives an unpaid toll notice, it will process it as a toll violation. An administrative fee up to $25 will be charged to the customer. But Alex says she didn't violate anything because she was ready to pay the toll but simply couldn't since there's no one there to collect. It's so unjust to be paying for things that like you can't, you can't pay for. That, no yeah, I have no control over paying that no. toll. Now, Call 12 for Action reached out to Enterprise, of course. They agreed to waive the fee for Alex, and not only for her. We're told they will no longer charge customers for that 10-cent toll, and they refunded all customers that were charged that additional $18 fee. They blamed a system error for a few months ago that caused customers to be charged the 10-cent toll, but that has since been fixed. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 and until one hotline 228-1850 or if you're interested in becoming a call 12 for action volunteer with me you can call that same number you see right there on your screen i'm problem solver susan hogan eyewitness news